matter. Matter is all around us. You already know that a table is made of wood, a pen is made of plastic, and clothes are made of fabric. But what are these things made of? They are all made up of matter. Matter is all around us. Everything on Earth, and even everything in the solar system, is made up of matter. You are made up of matter too. Matter is everything that we can see, touch, taste, or smell that has mass and volume. Mass. How much matter an object has. We can measure mass in grams or kilograms. Volume. The amount of space the matter takes up. The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Solids have a definite shape. This means that when we put solid in a different container, the shape of the solid doesn't change. Solids also have a definite volume, which means that a solid object always takes up the same amount of space. If we put an apple in a different container, it still has the same shape and the same volume. Liquids don't have a definite shape. This means that they take on the shape of the container that they are in. Liquids do, however, have a definite volume. If we put some orange juice in a different container, it changes shape, but it still has the same volume. Gases don't have a definite shape. Like liquids, the shape of gas changes with the shape of the container. Unlike liquids and solids, gases expand to fill the container they are in. This means that gases don't have a definite volume. The shape and volume of air in the balloons changes in different balloons. Matter can change shape and state, and when this happens, we call this a physical change. Physical changes happen to water in the water cycle. In the water cycle, the water changes shape and state, but the substance doesn't change. This means that throughout the water cycle, the water stays as water. Physical changes can happen when we heat, freeze, bend, twist, stretch or squash a substance. A chemical change is when a new substance is produced. We can observe a chemical change when we cut an apple in half and leave it. Chemical changes can happen when we burn a substance or expose a substance to air. Most things around us are mixtures. A mixture is something that contains two or more substances. We can find examples of mixtures in nature. Air is a mixture of gases and salt water in the sea. It's a mixture of water, salt and other minerals. Many rocks are a mixture of different materials. We can classify mixtures as being heterogeneous or homogeneous mixtures. In a heterogeneous mixture, it is easy to see the different substances. A fruit salad is a heterogeneous mixture. In a homogeneous mixture, it isn't possible to see the different substances. Mayonnaise is a homogeneous mixture. Some materials are better for a purpose than others. This is because different materials have different properties. A resistant material is difficult to break. A fragile material breaks easily if we bend or try to change its shape. A rigid material doesn't bend easily, but we can bend a flexible material. 
an elastic material returns to its original shape after we bend or stretch it. Some materials are transparent, which means that light can pass through them. When light can't pass through a material, we call the material opaque. Some materials are waterproof, which means that water can't pass through them. Heat passes through some materials easily, and these materials are called heat conductors. Materials that heat can't pass through easily are called heat insulators. Natural and manufactured materials. Natural materials come from nature and can come from plants, animals or minerals. Wood, cotton and natural rubber come from plants. Wool, leather and silk come from animals, and rocks and oil come from minerals. Manufactured materials are made from natural materials which are transformed in a manufacturing process. We manufacture glass from sand, and we use oil to make plastic, crayons and fabrics such as nylon. The three R's the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle, are three ways we can be responsible consumers and look after the environment. We should try to reduce the amount of materials we use and the waste we produce. We can reuse and recycle things. Recycle means to make something new from something we have used.